Um, so for my next term, I'm going to look for uh, the particular relationship between angles um, or a uh, relationship of the angles between the triangle joining the points of contact with the in-circle and the triangle um, form, a bit formed by the points of contact with the x-circle of a given triangle. Uh, so uh, let me draw my triangle here. Now, I can create the in-circle uh, simply by selecting these three lines and then this circle um, with three, given three entities will create the in-circle. And I want to create the points of um, contact. So in the case of E, I'm going to stick it, use the uh, incidence constraint to make sure it lies in that line. The other two points of contact, I can just draw them. And I'm going to be drawing the triangle, so I can just draw them at the same time as I draw the triangle segments. OK, so that's my in-circle. Now I'm going to create an x-circle. That's a circle that's tangential to the three sides, but actually lies outside um, one of the sides. So there's um, my x-circle. Um, I'm going to use the tangency constraint to um, make it make it tangent to these three sides. So there's tangent to one side, tangent to another side, and tangent to a third side, the third side. And now I want I to lie on that line. And I'll do that using the incidence constraint. And I want to have a point here, which lies on the extension of AB, and a point here, which lies on the extension of AC. So to do that again, I'm going to use the incidence constraint. So J defined to be incident to AB, uh, really means incident to the extension thereof, and we uh, get a little extension provided when we do that incidence constraint. And we'll make K incident to that line there. And so now we are wanting um, to look at this triangle, IJK. And in particular, I'd like to look at the relationship between these two lines. Um, in order to keep this focus on that, I'll change their color. Now, uh, let's change it to something that is different to the color we're using for the circles. It's purple. OK, so I'd like to look at the angle between these two um, uh, lines. OK, the, the lines um, are going to be called FG. After an alphabetical order and IJ. So that's going to be the angles in those two lines. We find that that is pi by two. Um, it would become no surprise uh, then that the angle between EG and IK. Um, it's also pi by two. 